Welcome beauticians to Manavia Spa and Beauty Academy's online eyelash extension course. Our certification is recognized with Revenue Quebec and ECC Canada worldwide and international. Thank you for taking part in our eyelash extension course. Here is our disclaimer for the eyelash extension course. Manavia Spa and Beauty Academy offers an intensive online eyelash extension course. We provide theory, practical exams, certification is recognized by Revenue Quebec and ECC Canada. You may also claim this course for income tax purposes. Certification will be provided to students who have passed Manavia Spa and Media Academy's online eyelash extensions training. Three models are required with before and after pictures of a full set of eyelash extensions and three testimonial videos with you and your model to receive certification. An email will be sent with all details. Please send your pictures and video testimonials to our Instagram page at Manavia underscore spa or by email manavia.spa at hotmail.com. Students who have passed the eyelash extension course will be emailed to have the certification mailed at a fee of $40. Students who have not passed the Manavia Lashes course will have the opportunity for a retake at a fee of $200. Please take your time in sending your final pictures and video testimonials. Practice makes perfect eyelash extensions. We want the best for you in your training process and helping you build and to start an amazing career opportunity in the eyelash extension industry. We wish you business and success. This online eyelash extension course has been created by Minavia Francis, educator, all rights reserved. Now let's get started with the theory. What are eyelash extensions? Eyelash extensions are a popular product that lengthens and thickens your own natural lashes. They are single strands of eyelashes that are curved to replicate a natural lash. They are applied to each individual eyelash with a specially designed bonding agent for a natural, beautiful, and luscious look. The lashes are applied directly onto the natural lash, never on the skin or eyelid. Eyelash extensions are perfect for that special occasion or for day-to-day -day wear. They are virtually weightless and will not damage your natural lash so you can choose to wear them permanently. Eyelash extensions are extremely safe as long as a certified eyelash technician applies them. Eyes are protected, the procedure is pain-free, lashes will not be pulled out. Eyelashes are natural looking, also completely weightless and identical to our very own lashes. They come in different lengths, thickness, and curls. What are they made out of? Silk. They are actually made from synthetic silk that is shaped into perfectly curled lashes. They are thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top. They have a glossier look and are made to look natural and full. The lashes require very little maintenance and allow you to continue with your daily activities without worrying about them falling out. They can last anything from three to six weeks depending on the life cycle of your client's lashes. For a great look, you'll need to apply 20 to 40 lashes per eye. Mink. Mink lashes are brushed off of live minks without harming them and provide a soft and lightweight alternative to normal false eyelashes. They have a semi-gloss look. You'll normally need about 40 to 80 eyelashes to achieve the desired look. They're a little bit more natural and very lightweight and they're thinner than silk. Real Mink. Real authentic mink. These are the most natural looking eyelash extensions. The thinnest, lightest, and most luxurious lashes. Non-synthetic and are more expensive to purchase and the eyelash application service is offered at a higher cost. You'll normally need about 80 eyelashes to achieve the desired look. Are eyelash extensions suitable for everyone? Anyone of any age can have eyelash extensions applied as long as there is a natural lash to glue the extension onto. Clients who cannot wear eyelash extensions are ones that have the following contraindications and common infections. Allergic to adhesives or glues, surgical tape, collagen iPads, chemotherapy within the past six months, it is recommended for them to see a doctor right before putting eyelash extensions if they had chemotherapy. Extremely oily skin and hair. To know that your client has extremely oily skin and hair, to the touch, you will have an, a little residue on your finger and their skin will look very shiny. For them, the lashes will last about a week or less. So it is up to them if they decide that they want to continue applying eyelash extensions. LASIK eye surgery, four weeks post-op. It is recommended that your client waits about four weeks post-op before doing any eyelash extensions. Blepharoplasty eye lift. Three to six months post-op. It is recommended that your client waits about three to six months post-op before applying eyelash extensions 
as this can be a contraindication to the eyes. Positive reactions to patch tests. It is best to test it behind the ear and in the forearm. When doing a patch test, you are testing out with the glue by putting a little drop. As well, you are testing with your surgical eye tape and your collagen eye pads. And when you're using the collagen eye pads, you're just going to wipe a little bit of the residue of the collagen eye pad behind the ear or the forearm. It is recommended to wait about 10 minutes to 30 minutes to see if there is a positive reaction. If your client is a little bit scared, have them wait 24 hours and come back for their eyelash extension appointment. Sty. So if your client has a sty on their eyelid, it is not recommended to do eyelash extensions as the eyelash extensions may irritate their eyes on the eyelid area. If you are unsure of any of these conditions that are being said at the moment, we do recommend that you check on Google Images. Cyst swelling in the immediate area or a recent lash service, for example, a chemical service such as lash perming or tinting within the past 24 hours. So if you notice that your client is coming in and her lashes look very curled or you know she's coming in with blonde hair and then her her eyelashes are a little bit darker then you should definitely ask if she had a recent lash perming or tinting service the eyelash extensions glue can actually cause a chemical reaction to the previous procedure of lash perming and tinting and will cause weakness to your client's eyelashes or even prematurely have them falling out any skin disorders in or around the eyes, any inflammation of or around the eyes, recent operations around the eyes, cuts, burns, watery eyes. It is very possible that your client has watery eyes as well. It is possible that it's a little bit watery during your application, but as long as that's a little bit watery and you can damp it a little bit with a Kleenex, that's fine. If it is more than that, it is not recommended for your client to get eyelash extensions done hypersensitive skin or eyes, contact lenses, your clients can always remove them right before the lash service and then they can put them back right after they are finished. Alopecia, if your client has any hair loss, you know it's not easy to actually put eyelash extensions on someone who has hair loss as the eyelashes are very weak so it is not recommended to actually put eyelash extensions. If your client is claustrophobic, ensure the client is not claustrophobic as they won't be able to open their eyes during the treatment. Any condition that makes closing eyes difficult, any disease or disorder causing shaking, twitching, or erratic movement, it is very possible to have a client who cannot actually lay down for an hour or two while getting eyelash extensions done. They will actually move a lot, a lot of movement, and it won't be easy for you to actually apply the eyelash extensions as there is a lot of movement and they actually need to be laying there peacefully or even falling asleep. Weak eyelashes. Recommend a lash growth sealant and review with your client after one month and see if their lashes have actually grown in and are a lot stronger. Dry eye syndrome, doctor referral is definitely recommended as your client will feel a lot of itchiness due to the glue and a lot of dryness due to the glue as well. Glaucoma, doctor referral. Glaucoma is a kind of blindness so we don't want your client to actually feel like they are uneasy as they are getting blind. So this is really important to know. Blepharitis. Blepharitis is an inflammation of the eyelids. It becomes red, sore, and itchy. It is not contagious. It happens to everyone of all ages, and it is permanent. How to treat blepharitis around the eyelids, etc., is to wash the eyelids with eyelash cleansers or stop using makeup or eyelash extensions. A lot of times, the client will feel or think that it was your tools that weren't clean and they weren't disinfected properly but they actually had blepharitis the whole time and it just decided to poof be there so it is not your fault if your client has blepharitis um, a lot of times the client would actually need to go on antibiotics if it is really bad and some clients they actually want to continue applying eyelash extensions as long as they keep cleaning the eye area which is very important Dumadex folliculorum is a small mite that lives harmlessly in eyelashes. 
and other hair follicles. And about 98% of people have these mites living on them. Occasionally, they may cause blepharitis. Dystichiasis is the abnormal growth of the lashes from certain areas of the eyelid. So if you see that there's an eyelash that is not supposed to be there, it is not recommended to put an eyelash extension onto that lash. Trichiasis refers to ingrown eyelashes. So if you see that there's a little bump under the actual eyelash of the natural eyelash, do not apply an extension to those eyelashes as it will cause irritation. Trichotillomania is a disorder that urges the sufferer to pull out hair and eyelashes. If you see that your client is constantly pulling out their eyelash extensions, it is not recommended that they proceed with the eyelash extensions. Growth cycle and phases. When properly applied, eyelash extensions will last the length of the natural growth cycle of your natural eyelashes. Just like our hair, eyelashes grow and fall out. In fact, we lose between one to three lashes a day. It takes around two months for eyelashes to grow. As we age, every year we start to lose more and more lashes. Eyelashes are constantly growing at different cycles. This prevents large patches from being bald at once. Eyelashes protect the eye from debris in the sense that they are sensitive to being touched, providing a warning that an object is near the eye, which then instigates the blink reflex. Eyelash extensions are attached to the natural eyelashes. That is the reason why your client needs fills or touch-ups. When the natural lash sheds or cycles out, it takes the extension out with it and a new one grows in its place. When lashes are done improperly, the extensions are ripping out the natural lashes. Be sure they are being done right to avoid the opposite of natural cycle. Anyone can make lashes look good when they are first applied, but when they first start to grow out and the cycle starts, they rip other lashes out if they are not perfectly isolated when extension to the natural lash. If your client's lashes start to hurt, pinch, churn, twist, etc., that's not normal. Eyelash cycles are the most delicate on the human body. Recommend your client on getting a refill every two to three weeks. If your client is coming in with about two or three lashes on each eye, that is not considered a refill, it is not considered a full set. So here is a diagram of antigen, catagen, telogen, and exogen. So when dealing with the natural lashes, it is important to know antigen, catagen, telogen, and exogen. So antigen is considered the baby hair of the eyelashes. So it is not recommended to apply any eyelash extensions onto the baby hair unless if it is very very necessary. The catagen hair is considered as a medium hair which you can definitely apply the extension onto. Telogen is considered as the longer hair and you can definitely apply the extension onto that. Exogen means that the hair has fallen out. The active cycle of eyelash hair growth starts from the antigen phase. This phase defines the period of activity where the hair cells are dividing and a new hair growth occurs. During this phase, the hair grows about 1 cm every 28 days. Catagen phase is a short transition stage that occurs at the end of the antigen phase. It signals the end of the active of the active growth of hair. This phase lasts for 1 to 2 weeks. Telogen phase, inactive phase, and the cycle of the hair growth when the hair is retained in the hair follicle as dead. What to expect before the eyelash extension application. So when your client is actually going to call you to book an appointment, these are things that you can actually let your client know right before they step in. So the eyelash extension application is completely pain free. Natural lashes will need to be free from any oils, creams, mascara, eyeshadow, etc. No contact lenses. Clients can put them back after the procedure. Bottom lashes will be used with surgical tape and or with under eye pads. Eyelash extensions procedures will last between 30 minutes to 2 hours as it will be applied to the natural lash one by one. Natural lashes will be cleansed. Natural lashes may be primed with primer. Sometimes it is not recommended to actually put primer on your client's eyelashes, especially if your client is on any medication. I find that sometimes when you actually put primer, it makes the eyelash extensions fall off a lot faster, but this is something for you to test out. Eyes will be closed throughout the whole procedure. 
eyes may water which is also completely normal the eyes may feel itchy which is completely normal if it does feel itchy it is probably because of the tape may feel fumes entering eyes if your client is feeling any fumes entering the eyes please use a little mini fan or air blower clients may feel lashes being separated for isolation clients may even fall asleep during the application because it's so relaxing the end result is longer fuller and voluminous lashes recommend mascara for eyelash extensions if they are looking for a fuller or darker look clients can use mascara it is not really required since the extensions actually give the illusion of wearing mascara it can be worn it must however only be water-based eyelash extensions mascara and highly recommend to your client to use your products that are specially formulated to wear with these lashes if applying mascara do so from the middle to the tip and avoid the root area same goes for your spoolie or mascara brush that you are providing for your client at the end of the service let them know that they should avoid the root area and only brush from the middle up. Care also needs to be taken in washing off the mascara and please recommend oil-free makeup remover for eyelash extensions. Do not perm or tint the eyelash extensions. Do not use a mechanical eyelash curler as these curlers will damage the eyelash extensions and possibly their own natural lashes. The extensions do have a natural curl so most people find they don't need to curl them further. Do not pull on eyelash extensions. This may cause the natural lashes to come out prematurely. Recommend eyelash extension sealant or serum for longer lasting lashes and care for natural lashes. Your client can swim, shower, exercise, and visit a spa while wearing eyelash extensions as long as they wait at least 24 to 48 hours. The bonding agent is waterproof and allows clients to shower, swim, exercise, etc. Special care is required but overall maintenance is low. Adhesives, primers, cleansers, and removers. So we do have our own brand as Manavia Lashes Adhesive C Celerity. This is a glue that we provide. It's especially designed for individual volume eyelash extensions and provides long bonding. Fast drying time up to one to two seconds. Bonding time is approximately five to six weeks. You can definitely purchase any other glue that you find is good for you, but we also have this on our website if you are interested. Manavia Lashes Adhesive C Celerity. The drying time is one to two seconds. Duration is five to six weeks. The color is black for professional use only. Level of expertise, experience. Eyes must be closed during the entire procedure and not to be used on one's cell. The glue is also hyperallergenic. The ingredients include ethyl cyanocrylate, alkoxy 2 cyanocrylate, PMMA, and formaldehyde free. These are ingredients that you actually want to see in your glue. You do not want to see formaldehyde. We also have Manavia Lashes Adhesive E Expedite. It's especially designed for individual volume eyelash extensions and provides long time bonding, fast drying time up to one second. Bonding time is approximately seven to eight weeks. Manavia Lashes Adhesive E Expedite. Drying time, one second. Duration, seven to eight weeks. Color, black. For professional use only. Level of expertise, experience. Eyes must be closed during the entire eyelash extension application, not to be used on oneself, hyperallergenic, ingredients, ethyl cyanocrylate, PMMA, hydroquinone 0.1%, carbon black, formaldehyde free. Certain adhesives are very strong that clients will have to keep their eyes closed during the full eyelash extension application. Black or clear glue that can be used for eyelash extension application. Certain clients prefer black so their lashes look fuller, their eyes should always be closed and protected throughout the full procedure. If you are deciding to use clear glue, you can always do so, just be careful with how much glue you are putting as it can leave a little bit of a residue. Adhesive ingredients, ethyl S cyanocrylate, polymethyl methacrylate, hydroquinone, alkoxy 2 cyanocrylate. The mechanical property of these ingredients made the bonding to the natural lash more relaxing lowers stiffness and improves resistance of the glue. Caution, the formaldehyde ingredient is very unsafe. They harm your clients and may cause cancer. Adhesives can also be stored in the fridge. 
When in the fridge, make sure to remove one hour before each eyelash extension application. Adhesives will last longer when stored in the fridge rather than at room temperature. Adhesives are best used within one to two months after opening when stored in the fridge. Maximum three months. When adhesives are used after the time frame of opening, the bonding to the natural lash will not hold and greater risk of eye infections for your clients. Cleansers that are 100% oil and glycol free, this can be sold to clients and can be used during eyelash extension procedures. Cleanses away the oils, helps to prep lashes before eyelash extensions application, helps the separation of natural lashes, can be used with lymph-free wipes or gloves. Primer prepares the lashes to be applied and it's a lot easier for you to apply them after the primer. It is also the key to longer lasting lashes. Help separation of the natural lashes. This is optional, can be used with micro brushes or a mascara brush. Adhesive remover is an excellent debonding agent. Let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and the lash extensions will slowly glide off. It is a simple procedure that doesn't take long. Using a specially formulated remover solution that will break down the glue and safely remove the extensions without damaging the natural lashes, while using the micro brushes. Eyelash extensions may also be removed with tweezers using the banana peel method, which we will show you in the video. Please tell clients do not attempt to remove the lash extensions themselves, as this will cause premature pulling of their natural lashes. Eyelash extension hygiene and safety. Hygiene and safety is very important before and after providing eyelash extension procedures to your clients. Stainless steel implements can be sterilized after each client with 99% alcohol. It can also be 70% and up. Stainless steel implements can be immersed in a disinfecting solution. As long as it's like a Barbicide or a preempt or XL brand. Stainless steel implements can be put into a UV sterilizer. Your jade stone is also cleaned with 100% pure acetone or 99% alcohol if you put the tape on the stone. Anything disposable must be thrown out after each use. Make sure to wash hands before and after the eyelash extension procedure. Hands can be sanitized with hand sanitizer. Do not have any food in the room. Wear a mask is also optional. Have mint or gum. You may also wear gloves. Make sure to ask clients if they have any reactions to latex. Clean the nozzle of the adhesive after each drop so that it doesn't get stuck to the cap, as glues can be quite expensive. Curls, thickness, and length. The average person has 150 to 250 lashes on the upper eyelid and 40 to 50 on the lower. Proper isolation is required for each eyelash extension applied to the natural lash. Each lash needs to be separated and applied directly and only onto one natural lash. Eyelash extensions come in different curls, thickness, and length. Most common curls. J curl. The most moderate curl. The least and natural curl of eyelash extensions. B curl are designed to stimulate the shape of lashes as if curled with an eyelash curler. Natural and glamour look. C curl are designed to stimulate the shape of eyelash extensions after they have been permed. Glamorous look. D curl, dramatic look, great for special occasions. L curl are designed for eye lift effect, used for deep set eyes and flat eyelids. These are the most common eyelash curls that we are using as eyelash technicians. The thickness of eyelash extensions is very important. The thinner the lash, the more natural and lighter it feels. The thicker the lash, the more volume it has and the heavier it feels. Staying under 0.20 millimeters is your best choice. Going over 0.20 millimeters is for clients with strong natural lashes. If not, they will cause damage to the natural lash. Over 0.25 is more for special occasions, fashion shows, HD movies, television, etc. The natural thickness on a human's lashes is 0.07 to 0.08 millimeters. It is always best to double check the thickness of your client's lashes before applying a too thick lash to her natural lash. 0.10mm thickness is good for creating a more natural look. 
0.15 millimeter thickness is creating a semi-natural look. 0.20 millimeter thickness is creating a mascara look. 0.25 thickness is creating a dramatic and glamorous look. Eyelash extensions are also very important when dealing with different lengths. The shorter the length, the more volume. When applying much longer lengths to your client's natural lashes, make sure that the lashes are not too long as the eyelash extensions will fall out faster and may cause breakage to the natural lash. 5 and 6 millimeter length. These lengths can be used for inner corners, outer corners, short natural lashes, and bottom lashes. 7, 8, 9, 10 millimeter length. These lengths can be used for inner corners, outer corners, and middle parts of the lashes. 11, 12, 13, 14 millimeter length. These lengths can be used for outer corners and middle parts of the lashes. The longer lengths can be used for special occasions. Most popular lengths are 8, 10, 12, and 14 millimeters. Eyelash extensions, eye look. When dealing with the eye look, it's really important to just match the actual look of your client's eyelashes. So if you see that your client's lashes look more like the sexy cat eye, you should follow this pattern. If your client's lashes are a little bit more straight, then you can actually play a little bit more with the different designs that are possible for eyelashes. Sexy cat eye. So this eye look gives more of a dramatic feel. The eyelash extensions are longer at the outer corners of the eyes and go in shorter at the inner eye, one of the most popular designs. The charming eye. This eye look makes the eyes look downturned, creating an innocent, sweet appearance. Using the slightest curl on the outer eye and using a more dramatic curl in the middle and inner eye. Dazzling eye. This eye look is using the same length across the whole eyelid. This thickens the lash line. Cute eye. This eye look opens up the eye using longer length in the middle. Natural eye. This eye look is mimicking different lengths by creating the natural lash pattern. Eyelash extension miscellaneous. Eyelash extensions come in various colors and can be applied with Swarovski crystals, gems, etc. Eyelashes can cost from $100 to $600 or more depending on the area, location, Eyelashes being used, technique, and experience. When practicing on friends, it will cost zero to $60. Good luck on your eyelash extensions journey. We have now reached the end of the theory. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us by email at menavia.spa at hotmail.com or through Instagram at menavia underscore spa. Hey everyone, welcome to the eyelash extension course. So right now I got my mannequin head right here. So I can show you guys a few little details on how to do the eyelash extensions. So we're gonna start off by doing it on a mannequin head. If you guys have anything else to actually work on, you can always work on that. You can even use um, a Kleenex box, um, anything that has like a surface. As well, you're just gonna get some of these uh, strip lashes, okay? Um, don't worry about it, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, as long as you have strip lashes that just work and that you can actually just stick them on to your mannequin head and that you can use them to apply your eyelash extensions. So we're also gonna need some under eye pads. You don't need under eye pads for your practice. But I'm gonna just show you guys how I place my under eye pads under the eye area. And obviously like this is on a mannequin so it is not exactly the same thing as doing it on an actual person. But I just wanted to show you guys how I place it under. And we're gonna just take that out. And we have it stuck on there. We also have tape that we can use to place under the under eyes and I find like uh, tape when you're actually doing it on an actual model like a real human model um, it, it's really ideal because it holds down those nice 
little lashes that are necessary. So I'm gonna do this in an X form. So right now I just place it underneath like going this way and I'm gonna place the other one going the other way. And you don't need to make your tape too, too long. Uh, you just make it like medium sized. Okay, so this is ideal, all right? This is kind of like three fingers. Okay, so now it will go under the other one. And you guys, on a human, I find it's a lot easier. Some people prefer it on a mannequin and then they just get their practice from a mannequin or they decide to actually do it directly onto a, a human. But that is up to you in the end as this is just your online eyelash extension course. So now you have your straight tweezer. Okay, you also have your curved tweezer. So you guys, you need to know what you prefer. Some people like to use curve and straight. Um, some people like to actually use two straights at the same time. Uh, there's different tweezers that people prefer using, but honestly and truly, it is up to you and you are the one who's gonna know what you prefer and you get comfortable with it. So what I want you guys to do is see, okay, do I wanna actually separate with this tweezer, the straight, to help guide me to actually open up my lash and isolate like that. Okay, you see how I did that, you guys? I'm gonna just like zoom into that so you can see. Okay, so I got my isolation right there. Okay, so you can do it with that and you this will actually help you, the curve will actually help you to open it up. Okay, and then you isolate with your straight, okay? So this is how it would look like. And right now we're just practicing separation so you can see how it is for separation with your tweezers and what you're comfortable with, okay? So like again, this is the straight, this is the curve, and this is my right hand and this is my left hand, okay? So now we can also do it the opposite way. So this is using my left hand with the curve, but I actually turn it downwards, okay? And this is my straight. So the same thing, I would go in and have my straight help me to separate and then I would go in with the curve and isolate. So this is something that you guys can try. I find it's very ideal to keep trying uh, before that you just start applying your eyelashes and dipping it into the glue. So this is something that you can try like this and see what you prefer. Okay, so keep practicing that. And then you're gonna go on to your next step, which is as well knowing how to place your lash. And you guys, this is on an, a mannequin, so it is not the same thing as when you're doing it on an actual model. So that's something that you need to understand as well. So once you are ready to actually start practicing on a human, uh, don't be afraid to, and don't hesitate to actually contact me uh, for more information, more details. Um, and also don't forget that there's there's also another part that shows you how to do it on an actual human So you can also take a look at that um, Another thing that you can also do for separation You can always use your fingers as long as your fingers are not oily like if you feel as if like I want to separate um, with my fingers and I'm like Holding it like this and then I actually just go in like that So that's another way that you can do it as well Okay, and don't be afraid to put a little light pressure with your tweezers and have it on a slant because the only thing is, is that when you actually um, have it raised in the air, you're not gonna get your isolation. And if you're isolating too far up, you're not gonna get that isolation. So you have to go a little bit closer to the lash line, to the root, and then you separate. Okay, so don't be afraid to to do that and also your client doesn't feel it. Another thing with your tweezers, you guys, please make sure not to drop these babies right here because when you drop these, it's over. It's over and you have to get a new pair, okay? And the sharpness of your tweezers are no longer safe and then you're gonna have a hard time picking up your actual lash. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that. So the same thing, we separate, okay? 
And then now we're just gonna keep practicing to separate so that we get familiar with separating the actual lash. And for these uh, strip lashes, you guys, you can buy this at the dollar store, anywhere. Like even if you live like international or something like that, I'm sure they have it at the Dollar Tree or anything like that's Dollar Rama type of store. Uh, normally they have strip lashes that are a little bit sticky and then you can just place it on a Kleenex box or anything that is necessary. So same thing again, we go in and we separate. And this all comes to practice. It is super normal that you're not getting it right away. Um, you just take your time and you just keep separating. And obviously like depending on your eyelash strip, like this eyelash strip um, has all the eyelashes like stuck together. Um, on a human lash, it is not like that a lot. There's a little bit more separation that you can do on an actual human lash, but uh, this is definitely ideal. Uh, something that you can do on a mannequin So as long as you keep doing that Okay, and don't forget you guys now we're gonna try placing an eyelash Okay, I'm gonna show you different ways of placing an eyelash. So it makes it easy for you to practice All right, so I just placed my eyelashes here onto the mannequin head um, you guys, if you decide to do that on your client, just make sure that uh, the client doesn't have any makeup as you will have a hard time picking it back up. You can also place it on top of a Kleenex. Um, that is super easy for you to just uh, put a Kleenex and put it over it or leave your tray on the side of you or put it on your hand. Or if you have like a lash pad or something like that, you can also use that. And you guys, um, we also have our own brand of Minavia Lashes. Um, you are definitely more than welcome to order um, Minavia Lashes on the website um, where you actually did purchase your online course. And um, honestly, these lashes are amazing. Okay, we have silk, we have mink. Um, don't be afraid to purchase. There's different sizes that you can also choose from. And with this course, you can also purchase eyelashes from anywhere else. And that's what's so great about this class is that it's international. So you can basically get your lashes and your kit anywhere you like to actually do this course. Okay, so now we also have um, glue that you can also purchase on the website. Um, this glue is glue E that I love to use. It's a one second glue. It dries super fast and um, it's super good adhesion to the natural lash. So you can also use this on our website or any other glue that you prefer using, whatever brand, as long as it is formaldehyde free, okay? Formaldehyde free. So don't forget to shake your glue for a couple of seconds. Ideally, 20 seconds to 30 seconds is really good. Okay, so like I said before, you guys just shake the glue for a couple of seconds. Uh, you can always put your glue inside the fridge. Um, as long as you make sure that you throw away your glue after multiple uses, um, don't forget that your glue is good for at least two months. Um, if it's out of the fridge, three months if it has been inside the fridge. And you guys, it is very important to also clean your nozzle when you are dealing with glue. Okay, so I just made a nice little drop onto my my actual eyelash glue tile, okay? My crystal tile that I like using. Um, I always put a tape on there and then I put the actual drop of glue. You guys, you really don't need that much. Um, you can just use it like this. There's also glue rings, people use glue rings. It is up to you however you want to use your glue as long as it is on a hygienic area and it has tape and it also has the drop of glue. So now I'm just gonna show you guys how I pick up my lashes. Okay, so when you're going in, you can always just grab your eyelash, okay, right here. And you guys, this eyelash here is a 0.20 uh, thickness and the curl is a D curl, and this is a silk lash, okay? And this is the glue. You guys, try not to actually go on top of your glue as the glue actually already hit the air. So when you actually go under the glue and you go out, it gives you about two to three drops 
of glue. In and out, a couple of drops, remove the excess. So again, in, out, a couple of drops, remove the excess. And also removing the excess helps uh, for any sensitivity for your clients if they're super super sensitive um if if they realize like oh my eyes are too watery um or i i feel like there's a lot of fumes in my eyes and stuff like that the best thing to for you to do is to remove the excess of glue always um and you guys like you should always remove it anyways, regardless, um, because if you're placing too much glue onto the natural lash, you're gonna get a lot of lashes getting stuck together and a lot of glue onto the natural lash. So you wanna just actually go in, out, and then wipe your, your lash, and then you're gonna place it onto the eyelash. Okay, so now you can either grab your lash and like I said, you can use your fingers, if you want to use your fingers, to help you isolate. Okay, so I just isolated this one. You can use any size lash as well. I'm just using a longer lash. This is um, a 15 millimeter. See, I have a couple, a little bit of glue, and I'm gonna remove my excess right in front of me, right there. And then we're gonna place it right on top okay so that's exactly how you're supposed to do your eyelash okay right now I'm touching it you do not need to touch it you just actually place it right on top and then you let go okay and also you want to leave a little bit of space from the root so that when it grows it's gonna grow really nicely in place okay another little trick you guys can always separate your lash first you have to see what you like okay so you just separate it and then you grab your lash you go into the glue like i said from the bottom out remove your excess and then you're gonna place it right on top okay another little trick that is super handy is that when you actually have a little bit of that lash of the, of the natural lash sticking out. Because when you have that natural lash, you can actually use it to do the banana peel method. And the banana peel method just helps you to remove the, the eyelash a lot easier rather than using like um, an eyelash glue remover. And also I find that when you have the natural lash sticking out a little bit, it gives a little bit more volume for the client. So this was another application, okay, just there. And you see lots of retention and um, nothing is coming off at all. So it's perfect. You guys, you always have to make sure that when you're going in, you can also um, definitely manipulate the lashes as much as you want. And like I said, um, you don't have to do it one after the other. You can actually, you know, you can actually just go from one lash and then skip a few lashes and check for another lash. And don't forget you can use different sizes. We're just doing this on a mannequin so you are more than welcome to do it with different sizes. Okay, so the same thing. Another little trick is going from the side of the lash and then placing it right on top. And you see that I got my volume at the same time and I have my lash. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom into that so you guys can see it a little better. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. So I'm separating I have my isolation and I'm grabbing my lash, going in, removing my excess. I'm going in from the side, okay? If you guys see this, from the side, and then it goes right on top okay you can do it like that so this all comes with practice you guys it is normal if you are not getting it on the first try if you're actually not getting the lash on whatsoever you guys it, com it comes with practice like sometimes practice makes perfection okay so that is what you guys need to do separate it again 
I have my isolation. I'm gonna grab my lash. Remove the excess. Going from the side. Place my lash. Okay, so you see how the lash is dropped like that on the side, okay? You just have to push it up and leave it like that. That's it. You can also use a little bit of your air blower uh, to help you actually um, put some air onto the lash, especially if the client has a little bit of um, uh, sensitivity. You can even leave the air blower in your client's hands if necessary. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. We're gonna go in, find a lash. Okay, and make sure that when you're applying your lashes, you're doing the antigen, catagen, telogen phase, okay? So look at this. I just grabbed a, another extension. This one has three nice little blue drops. So we're gonna remove that excess. And then we're gonna go from the side, or you can go directly on the top, it doesn't matter. And then you place your lash, okay? Even if that little piece is like um, coming out and it's weird, weirdly shaped, it doesn't matter as long as you're placing it and it has the extension onto it. Okay, so don't be afraid to keep going and uh, applying more lashes. And if you feel like you need a guide, you guys can always use a pen to guide you with your numbers. Okay, so you're gonna place this one right there. And you always wanna make sure that that base is really onto there too, because if the base isn't on, it's gonna bother your client when it grows. Okay, so just like that again. And you can just go ahead again and keep looking. Looking for a lash and applying it. Okay, just like that. So you guys go ahead and continue applying your lashes and filling it up. And uh, this is comes with practice. And a good thing is to keep practicing on an actual mannequin, even if you wanna practice different styles, um, it doesn't matter. It's really ideal to just keep practicing. And um, and obviously, like, like I said, you don't need to do it on an actual mannequin head. You can do it on a Kleenex box or anything that is ideal as a flat surface for you to actually just practice applying your eyelash extensions. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys with a marker or a pen if you actually wanted to mark where you are placing your eyelashes and depending on the style, um, obviously like if your client has longer lashes in the middle, like you should always go with the style of your client's natural lashes, okay? So if your client's lashes are shorter on the sides and longer in the middle, then you should definitely do the same thing. You go shorter on the sides and then longer in the middle. Another thing is, is that if your client has a cat eye, so it goes from short to long, then you're gonna do the same exact thing. Uh, some people have all the same length across. Um, you can definitely do that as well. You can do integrated lashes um, using different lengths that they have. Um, it doesn't have to be the same exact style all the time, as long as you're going with what they have, because when you go with what they have, the lashes will last a lot longer. Okay, so here I got a pen, and you can also mark it right on top of this, okay? So you guys, if you wanna, you know, let's say, we're gonna say we wanna put some eights and some tens here. So I'm gonna say like some eights and uh, some tens, okay? So 10 and eight. Looks a little messy, but uh, let's put eight. And this as a 10, okay? I'll even put it here so you can see it a bit better. 10, eight, okay? Another, another one that we can do, we can say, since these are a little bit longer, and you guys, I've been putting 15s on these, so just imagine, this is pretty long, okay? So eight, 10, we can even put some 12s, and then we're gonna put some 15s in the middle, okay? And then we're gonna put a little bit of 15s again. And then 12s over here. 
in in 12 and then we can go again with some 10s and 8s so this is very ideal has uh, different measurements that you can do so this is going to be like an 8 from here from here to here is 8 from here to here is 10 from here to here is 12 from here to here 15 from here to here 15 from here to here 12 here to here 10 and then here to here 8 and obviously you can play with the sizes they don't have to be 8 10 15s 12 10s and 8s they could even be 9s uh, they could be 11s it could be 13s you can play with the different numbers as long as you're doing it with the style that you're going for so this one we know that it goes from short to long and then short again so that's why we're actually doing 8 10 15s no 8 10 12 15s 12 10s and 8s so that's why we're doing it in that style so go ahead and continue applying your actual eyelashes onto the mannequin and if you guys have any questions whatsoever about applying them um if you find it a little tricky still or anything like that do not hesitate to contact us uh, to get more information um, about how to apply it uh, how to make things a little easier if you find it extremely hard uh, like I said, you can always use your finger to help you to separate. Um, practice with the tweezers. It is super important to practice with your tweezers so that it is very ideal to know if you're going to be picking up with your curve. So I've been picking up with my curve one and I'm flipping it the other way so that I can actually pick it up. Okay, so this is something that you guys can try and I've been separating with my straight. Okay. And if you guys are like, oh, I, I want to do with my straights, you can just pick up with your straight. Okay, you pick up with your straight and then you're still going to separate. So all depending on what you decide to do in the end. Okay, this one already has an eyelash on it, but I'm just showing you again the isolation with as if it was with two straights. So you pick it up and you apply it. Please do not hesitate to contact us, contact me. Um, you can also contact me on Instagram at Minavia underscore spa. You can DM me for any information whatsoever on this eyelash extension course and the process of practicing. Um, if you feel like, okay, um, I want a little bit more information on the practicing on a mannequin before I go straight to a client, definitely contact me um, about our products. You can definitely contact me any time, you guys. It doesn't matter what time, just DM me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the um, practical on the mannequin. And um, anytime, like I said, you can contact me. And another thing is, is that um, I hope you really enjoy this and take as much time as you need to prepare yourself before you go straight to a, um, uh, on a human, on your model. If you want to go directly onto your model, you can just take your time on doing that um, and make sure that um, you're not going to blind your client or anything or poke them with like your tweezers and stuff like that. Like just really take your time, use your air blower. Um, this will help you to dry the lashes. You can also use your mascara brush, brush to, to brush the lashes um, as well. With sealants that you can also put after. Um, when you put your sealant, make sure the client's eyes are closed and you would actually apply the sealant going upwards and from the bottom to actually just have the lashes stay on longer. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you uh, some of the process that I'm doing here. I'm going to start filling in some of these lashes. And uh, you can go along with me. It's absolutely no problem. Like, uh, you know, enjoy this process and have fun. Have fun with it and don't worry about anything. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect on your first try, you guys. And obviously, it is normal that um, you're not getting it right away on the first lash um it is a good idea to have good eyesight when dealing with these type of situations um you know especially you guys do not forget to look away once in a while when you're doing eyelash extensions as it can get very overwhelming on the eyes it really really can 
So um, just make sure that uh, you're taking your time to just, you know, look away sometimes and come back at it. Um, some people do lose a bit of their eyesight if they keep focus on keep focusing on the, on doing eyelashes for quite some time. Okay, so you can just follow this process and um, have fun with it. Like a lot of people find that it's just meditation. You know, it's it's a really nice way of just keeping zen, relaxed and enjoying every moment of it. guys it is super simple it is super easy you just go with the flow and don't be afraid to have like music in the background chit chat with your client get to know your client you know it's always nice uh, when you get to know your client a bit and obviously like if you are not comfortable with your client talking while you're doing the eyelashes like don't be afraid to just offer like a nice little lip treatment <laughs> It's so funny because, you know, if you offer the lip treatment, they won't talk, honestly and truly. They'll just not say anything. They'll just know that they're getting a lip treatment. You know those collagen lip pads? It's just like the under eye pads. The under eye pads have collagen in it. So your client is actually getting a nice treatment at the same time. Just go and keep separating and isolating. And you guys, don't forget those baby lashes, those antigen lashes, avoid them. And you know, only place on an antigen lash if it's really necessary. And there's absolutely no space. Like there's nothing at all, okay? So you guys, you just keep practicing like this. You just keep practicing. And you can try different sizes if you want, you know? But this one, because I'm just working on a on an actual mannequin, I'm gonna keep any size that I want because it's a mannequin, you know? When you're doing it on an actual person, don't forget to actually know your sizes. And what's fun about doing eyelashes, you can do different lengths, different curls, different thickness. And please, it is super important to, to know that you're dealing with different thicknesses on clients' eyelashes, okay? Um, if your client's eyelashes um, is super thin, why put a point 20, you know? Um, you should definitely go for a point 15, a point 10, 
even less you know all depending on their actual thickness of their eyelashes like i don't find like it makes sense when people actually you know start putting like this crazy thickness on people's eyelashes like as if you know they want the breakage for them like why would you want your client's lashes to break you know so i find it's like just super important knowing how to deal with that and you guys if some of the lashes start to fall off it doesn't matter because it's a mannequin okay the adhesion isn't perfect And just keep going, keep going with your process. And you guys, if you have to start practicing on the other side for the other eye, of course do it, you know? Like, don't just stop because you're like, oh, I'm gonna just do one eye and give up. Like, no, like practice on the other side. Some people find that um, one eye is easier than the other. Some people find that uh, one of the eyes are more difficult than the other. You know, like, it depends on everyone, okay? So there's little tricks here and there that you can always try to make it easier on yourself. And you guys, if any lashes ever get stuck together, make sure to get those out of the way always remove any lashes that are stuck it is super important and you see look at this lash it's like going in its own direction but that's okay because you can still apply an extension onto it you see that don't hold down on the lash you guys just let go freely and then you go to the next one And another thing that's really amazing to do, see this one, if you want to keep it in place, you can actually just use your air blower and it will stick in place. It's turning your mannequin around and looking at the lashes from here to see your, your results, to see how far you've gone and how they actually look. That's the fun part, you guys. Just seeing how nice they start to turn out.
And you guys, a full set is really getting as many lashes as possible. A full set is not 10 lashes per eye, you guys. A full set is over 100 lashes per eye. Look at that, it's starting to get super nice and full. Okay. So just follow those steps you guys just keep following and just keep applying and adding lashes on individually one by one and please be careful not to keep uh not to apply it very close to the actual root of the lash always leave a nice space in between and uh, make sure it looks the same all across and um you know don't you don't be afraid to always like use your air blower or anything like that that is necessary when you're actually doing the eyelash extension course. And um, like I said, you guys have all the time in the world to you know keep practicing and uh, there's no rush into something like this. Take all the time you need and from there you'll know your results. And like I said too, you guys can always contact me on Instagram at Manavia underscore spa and um, also on Facebook, but I'm mostly on Instagram. So please contact me on Instagram. And um, you guys, do not be afraid. Enjoy your class, enjoy the excitement, have fun. And um, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate. Have a good day, y'all. Okay, so you guys, for the removal process, you're gonna need your micro brushes. Uh, these are really great for removing uh, eyelash extensions and instead of using like your tweezers for the banana peel method you can also use your micro brushes with an actual remover so all depending on what you would like to do um, you can either do banana peel method or you can also do your remover like this um, you know I think that when you're removing it with the actual gel is because the client wants to remove everything completely so you can also use this and um, it will go by really quickly when you're removing it. And it will take about five to 10 minutes to remove the eyelash extensions. Uh, make sure that the client's eyes are closed at the whole time because it will burn their eyes um, when you're using um, a um, remover. And the best thing is to prevent any burning whatsoever. Um, if it does happen, just uh, rinse thoroughly with water if they feel any burning sensation and once the burning actually calms down you can go again and remove but make sure that their eyes stay completely completely closed so I'm going to show you the removal process so you're going to put some gel on your micro brushes or any type of remover that you decide to use Okay, so I put some gel on here. You don't need too much. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna just go from the top to bottom and just apply your gel remover or any type of remover that you're gonna use. And um, another thing is, is that you don't need to have the under eye pad there. The under eye pad, um, I just left it there because um, it's basically stuck to the mannequin right now so that's the only reason why it's there but when you're doing a removal process you don't need anything around the eyes you can actually just go ahead right away as long as the client's eyes are closed so as you can see the the actual extensions start to come out slowly see and you can always just put like a nice kleenex right next to you like a kleenex right next to you and just wipe it down and you go ahead again and just remove and you're gonna just keep going until all your lashes come off uh, but you're we're, we're practicing this as if you were doing it on an actual human um, you don't need to do this on your mannequin necessarily unless if you want to practice it with me and uh, just continue and you'll see that it starts lifting. 
and the best thing to do is like if there's any little chunks of glue left over you can actually grab those little pieces with your tweezers but very lightly um, if there's any leftover of those pieces of glue and even before your client wat opens her eyes you definitely have to rinse her eyes uh, with some nice warm water um, just to keep cleaning and cleaning um, before she opens because even after when she opens she will feel a little burning sensation if it hasn't been thoroughly cleaned off so you just keep going like this and uh, the extensions will start to come out okay so keep going if you're practicing with me and um, let me know if you have any questions on the removal process. All right, so we're officially on a live human model. So we're gonna start off here by cleansing the lashes, um, making sure that there's no dust or debris from top to bottom, removing any excess of makeup or mascara, anything that is left over. Um, and you can always start from the top and then have your clients open their eyes after. I'm using a little bit of my air blower here so I can actually just dry off the lashes um, and that once I put the lashes on, they are going to be secured and they are no longer wet. So just like what we did on the mannequin head, instead we're actually going to place the under eye pad under the human eye. And we're going to place it right underneath and right on top of the lashes. And then we're going to place the tape right on top and we're going to avoid that actual water line that's there we just place it right underneath so none of the lashes are sticking out and we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the eye and just be careful with this and take your time it's normal if you don't get it on one shot you just take your time to do it and right here i'm applying the tape going upwards on the eyelids so that i can actually have a better view of the lashes and that the lashes don't get stuck onto the under eye pad. So you're gonna lift it up from the eyelid and raise it up and then it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to see. So I'm going with my sizes of 10, 12s and 8s and they are C curl and they are 0.15 millimeters. Using glue E, one second drying time. So I'm starting off here looking for my lash and I'm doing my isolation. And you see, you guys, I have different ways of separating. So right there, I actually separated um, with the fine point of my tweezer. And I'm actually just tossing the lash aside and I'm placing the lash right on top. And I also used my fingers to help me separate while applying the lashes. And you guys, you can do it like the same way that I showed it to you on the mannequin. And you can do it like this as well by using your fingers, separating with the pointed of your tweezers and opening the lash and placing the lash extension. Whatever you feel is necessary for you, there are different techniques, different ways of applying the eyelash extensions. And this is one of the ways by separating with your fingers and just make sure that there is absolutely no oil on your finger and you just go ahead and keep applying. And with this one, I'm actually putting her lashes shorter on the sides and longer in the middle because this is the type of look that her eyes actually uh, go with. And you know, you can keep following me as I go with this procedure and just keep watching how the technique is and how the procedure is. 
and if you have any questions on this don't be afraid to ask me and definitely this is on a human model now this is not the same as doing it on a mannequin so make sure that you had enough time to practice on your mannequin if necessary and then you just go right in and practice on an actual human the lashes are super super delicate and uh, you just take your time and you just keep going and applying your lashes as needed and as you can see the lashes are starting to get nice and full and I'm just applying them one by one individually and you guys avoid the eyelid avoid the skin make sure you're keeping your space in between your lashes when you're actually applying it that one millimeter and uh, always pay attention to your isolation and you see right there I was just passing my tweezers through so that there is no stickiness and that none of them are actually stuck together and each individual client has different types of lashes so you need to know exactly what you're dealing with um, some lashes are thin some lashes are thick some lashes are long some lashes are very short so you need to know exactly what you're getting yourself into once you work on a human and don't be afraid to like look at the lashes before you just start applying them examine them take a look at it and see what you you really should be doing as a style and the thickness and the curl that you should be using um, a lot of different um, ethnicities actually have like different uh, uh, thicknesses different uh, curls of their own natural lashes so try to go with what they actually have and you know for instance if someone has super super straight lashes then you should definitely give them a nice curl at the end like you should use like a C curl or a D curl um, if someone says like I actually want to have my lashes super natural super natural looking and I don't really want to curl then you should go with like a J curl or a B curl you know something more natural so as you can see like I'm still going about and applying the lashes using my air blower if necessary and just you know drying the lashes as I go and you know it's normal that it takes you even three hours for your first application ever to do eyelash extensions it's not something that's super easy and you see here I just kind of removed that lash because I didn't like the way that it looked and I want to go back and uh, apply another one right on top of it and I'm just gonna keep going and you guys take your time in these types of process and you should definitely be making sure that you're removing your excess glue um, you're checking on your client talking to your client if necessary a lot of clients do fall asleep when they are in this procedure which is okay because then you get to relax and you get to you know just keep going and applying uh, the lashes so at this point you know do what is good for you in this procedure and make sure that your client is just super comfortable if you need to place something under your client's neck please do under your client's knees or their back you should also do that as well when you're applying eyelash extensions as they will be laying down for a long time um, a lot of times too your client will actually need to go to the washroom when their eyes are closed um, so you can always help them to go to the washroom and stuff like that and you see the lashes are starting to get really nice and full here it's looking amazing it's looking amazing so I'm just gonna brush them so that um, they look nice and fluffy and you can actually already see the difference from that eye to the other eye and now I'm just gonna brush her other eye which is the left eye to make sure that uh, they're nicely spaced out and I'm gonna start applying my lashes so the same thing using my glue E, I'm going to shake it for about 20 to 30 seconds and I'm going to place my drop onto my crystal towel on top of the tape. And I'm going to just show you guys again so you go under the glue and you remove your excess, okay? Take your time when doing that. It's the same exact procedure when you're going to be doing it on the natural lashes. So right here, I'm just starting off from the corner of the eyes. You guys you can start kind of anywhere that you like and then you just continue as you go 
but I actually like uh, starting from my corners and I work my way into the inner corner um, or sometimes I do put some in some areas like individually and I would place them and uh, and then go back and then just keep going but you have to do what you are comfortable with and you see I did one eye first and then I'm going to the other eye some eyelash technicians actually like working with both eyes at the same time so you can always do both eyes at the same time so you can add some on the left side you can also add some on the right side and some people find that the left side is a little bit tricky because of the nose um, the nose is in the way but you are also able to actually move your client's head if necessary and tilt it to the side to help it to make to make it easier for you to actually you know apply the lashes but this procedure is super easy you guys you just have to keep practicing and getting used to it and like I said a full set is definitely a hundred lashes or more so really take your time when applying eyelash extensions um, right now I'm just separating and taking my time looking at what I'm doing and you should also be tilting your head to the side and double checking every procedure as you're going and if you see that there's lashes that don't look right onto the lash you should definitely do your banana peel method that I showed you in the beginning and then you go again and then you apply it again and make sure that you're not reusing the same lash over and over especially if there's a lot of glue on it it's definitely not going to stick on so you have to throw away that lash and use a new one and as you can see like i'm just isolating i have my different techniques and i'm making sure like okay i know that it's going to be longer in the middle so i'm applying the longer ones in the middle and i'm just applying some shirts on the side and like i said you guys you just keep going and be comfortable with what you're doing and if ever you have questions on like, you know, your separation techniques and how to apply the lashes and how is it going to be for me, you know, when I start this for the first time on my client, um, am I going to be scared? Am I going to be, you know, okay with it? You know, just make sure you have all the proper equipment to start. You need your tweezers. You definitely need your air blower. You need your glue. Um, you can also wear a mask if you want uh, during this procedure. It doesn't necessarily help with the fumes, like you're still going to smell fumes, um, but you can always wear it like while you're talking to the client, if ever you ate something, um, you can definitely do that. Um, you're also going to need, you know, um, your crystal stone, you can use any type of crystal stone, um, you know, just to place your glue onto it. And then you also need your tape so that you don't have to always clean your crystal stone with a, with a, um, um, with acetone so you just take your time and you know just uh, keep applying eyelash extension um, what else are you guys gonna need you're also gonna need your mascara brushes to make sure you're brushing the lashes uh, really well you're gonna need your alcohol so that you're cleaning um, so that you're cleaning your tools and cleaning anything necessary you can also have barbicide um, for your sterilization and stuff like that and you know you guys just make sure you have the proper tools and I'm gonna like put down unnecessarily uh, tools in the description of the online course when you purchased it um, it will be there so just double check all necessarily all necessary things that you do need um, it is normal that um, you know we don't have everything on our website because we also sell in store and uh, we do have a lot of people buying from us and sometimes we don't want to actually put it on the website we want to have it with our students and give it to them in their kits so just take your time when looking on our website and purchasing whatever you need necessary and you can also buy anywhere else if you like it doesn't really matter you know just you know have fun with this and um, as you can see look the lashes are already getting nice and thick and they're getting full it looks amazing and just make sure to keep checking as well for your antigen, catagen, telogen, and that you're avoiding the baby lashes and only be placing, only be placing, you know, your eyelash extensions on the baby lashes 
if it's super super necessary like her lashes are very nice and and healthy and you know she doesn't have any gaps or anything so definitely I don't see any point of actually placing it on her little baby ones so I'm gonna just avoid the baby ones at all costs and I'm just gonna keep going on to her her uh, intelligence and her and her catagens and you know I just keep placing the lashes on there and I just keep taking my time and like I said as well is that when you're actually placing the lash make sure that you're not sticking any lashes together and that you're really watching that the lashes are not getting stuck and you see in that inner corner just take your time when applying you know the lashes there because sometimes it is a little tricky in that corner and then sometimes it can get stuck together so just make sure that you know you're really taking your time when dealing in those corners and you know as you can see her lashes are starting to get really nice and full and you know I really really enjoyed doing this set it was really really enjoyable she was super relaxed she was super nice and she just you know laid there and she wanted to get her lashes done and it was her first time too so she really enjoyed this uh, procedure and um, you know this is something I would say that it's definitely ideal for many people to get into um, to learn this course uh, it is definitely enjoyable and I want to say you know thank you for purchasing this course and learning this eyelash extension technique and um, you know enjoy every bit of it and make your clientele you know grow your clientele advertise for yourself advertise on Instagram you know advertise on Facebook and you know show that you're doing eyelash extensions and that you actually got certified from Manavia Spa and Beauty Academy and that you really enjoy exactly what you do all right so now I'm just gonna double check my lashes and I'm gonna use a little bit of air blower to fan them you know a bit more to make sure that the fumes are okay and everything and you know I want to make sure that even before she opens her eyes that you know she's feeling safe and secured and that she doesn't feel a lot of fumes and stuff like that and go ahead and brush your lashes and then double check if you want to apply any more lashes extensions onto her natural lashes if you see that she needs it and you know just double check as well that if you are you know doing both eyes differently that you are double checking you know that they both look the same they they both need to look the same not one eye fuller than the other they both have to be the same so just always double check that unless if your client has like gaps and stuff like that then it's completely understandable but just double check if necessary on both sides and still like if you have to go back to the other eye and apply some eyelash extensions you can also do so if necessary to make it look nice and full on both sides so right now I'm just finishing it off here and you know just making sure that nothing is stuck brushing them nicely and you know a lot of times your client actually loves it when you brush them as well they, they love that feeling it just makes them feel like wow I just got my eyelash extensions done they feel amazing and I love it and like you see um, I'm applying the sealant right here on the top and the bottom to make sure that her lashes will stay secured and that the glue will last a lot longer onto her natural lashes without actually falling when you do sell this to your clients um, you know they are happy with this actual sealant because they know that it's gonna make it last longer so make sure you make your sales with your eyelash sealant and you can still brush them right after and I find that like the lashes look even nicer when the sealant actually goes on so we are done with this procedure thank you so much for watching this and you know this was a class that is normally done in about three days and you guys you got it all on video and you can you know watch it as many times as you need and if you have any questions like I said many times before please contact me on Instagram at Manavia underscore spa if you have any questions whatsoever it doesn't matter there are no stupid questions everything is okay to ask and um, like I said like I'm more than happy for you purchasing this actual eyelash 
online extension course. And as you can see, this is the view for both of her eyes. That looks absolutely amazing. It looks so great. And you guys, do not forget to take your befores and after pictures. You know, it's nice to have befores and afters so, you know, your, your actual clientele can see the results and everything. You can also take from the, the back view, the front view. You can take videos. It's really nice. And like I said, like make a social media account. You know, show your work. And even if it's just for friends and family, let them talk about your work and how amazing you are like, doing eyelash extensions. And look at this. Now she, her eyes are open. You know, it's so funny because she still didn't even see her lashes yet. Oh, look at it. Look, she's, she's smiling. She's happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what you want from your client you want them to be happy with the results and um, you know it's just amazing it's just amazing so thank you so much for joining this class again and um, take care everyone and um, have a good one you guys have a good one